Hello friends, I am Nanda Vashne from Edumat and today I am here with the continued topic of motion. In the last module, we had studied about the basics of motion and here today I am with the types of motion. So, here is a web chart of what are the types of motion, translatory motion, circular motion, periodic motion, oscillatory motion, rotational motion, multiple motion and random motion. Translatory motion. Translatory motion is a motion in which all the points in a body cover the same distance through a same interval of time. For example, a car moving along a straight path or a curved path also the motion or the translatory motion is of two types rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion in rectilinear motion the moving body moves to the same distance in the same interval of time interval of time following a straight path while in curvilinear motion all points on the moving body move to the same distance in the same interval of time following a curved path here it's an example of throwing a ball and the motion of an elevator the next is oscillatory motion oscillatory motion is a motion defined as to and fro motion of an object the to and fro motion of an object means when an object moves around or to and fro its rest position here we can see here we can see that the pendulum's rest position is this the straight point while the pendulum is moved while the pendulum moves to and fro its rest position it is called the oscillation oscillatory motion of the pendulum another example of oscillatory motion can be vibrating strings of a musical instrument is a mechanical example of oscillatory motion also another example of oscillatory motion can be the motion of a swing for example in a swing the the seat moves like this isn't it so this motion is also oscillatory motion other is another more kind of motion is rotational motion rotational motion is the motion in which the object takes a circular path and around a central axis for example we can see the rotation of the earth in the rotation of the earth we see that there is a fixed axis around which the earth rotates isn't it so the earth has a fixed axis around which it rotates and it takes 24 hours of the earth for the earth to complete and complete rotation another example is the spinning of a top periodic motion Periodic motion is the motion in which the movement of an object is repeated after a fixed interval of time. For example, a rocking chair or a bouncing ball. In the picture over here, we can see that the earth, when started from a point, takes a perfect time of 365 and 1 upon 4 days. 365 and 1 upon 4 days to complete one rotation, revolution around the sun okay so this is considered as an periodic motion because every year uh, the earth completes a one rotation around the sun revolution around the sun the next is circular motion here you can see a image isn't it in this image we can see that the fans the wings of the fan are following a circular path so isn't it a curvilinear motion no it is not a curvilinear motion instead it is a circular motion because the path taken by the wings of the fan is fixed and it always moves around a circumference it means if i try drawing a circle out of this example i can see the cap this is a center and the path taken by the wings is this so isn't it forming a circular path this circular path is considered as the path or we can say that this circular orbit is considered the path of the fans of the wings of the fans and this motion is called circular motion the next kind of motion is multiple motion in multiple motion 
a body possesses more than one kind of motion for example this bicycle in this bicycle we can see the wheels are possessing a rotation and a circular motion the whole bicycle is possessing a curvilinear motion as it is moving around the curvilinear track and the wheels and the handles and everything of the bicycle as a whole is following three kinds of motion another example over here is when you travel by a train the clock in the train um has hour hand minute hand and second hand so they take a circular and a rotational motion isn't it so this is also an example of multiple motion random motion unpredictable kind of motion where an object moves in any direction keeps and the direction keeps changing continuously for example the gas molecules inside any container in the surroundings we know that matter is made up of various kinds of molecules and molecules are made of atoms so the molecules keep running here and there inside the container so this motion of the molecule this motion of the molecules is called random motion because they move in any direction it's not fixed that they take the same direction always another example is the balls in the game pool okay so when we hit the balls all the balls move in different 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 directions these different directions are again not fixed and they can take any path and the speed of the object keeps changing the direction keeps changing so it is considered a random motion so that's what it for today guys so don't forget to share like subscribe and comment to my youtube channel edumat thank you